so what is this thing you're looking at? Well, it's a historical object, and not just any object. It's the kind of historical object that makes, um, or shall we say, puts spice and color into the history books. Now, what happened here was on the 7th of July, 1877, a man called Shark van Mokum, or Shark is translated into Jack, Shark van Mokum, he ate what people believe was a poisoned tulip. Now, due to some metabolic freak or um, aberration in nature, shall we say, he didn't die. But what happened to him was almost worse than dying because he became ravenous and began to eat. And after 77 minutes, he'd eaten all the food in the house. And then he began to munch on the curtains and the carpets. And eventually, after, I believe it was seven weeks, seven hours and seven seconds, this is what was left. And it didn't kill him. Uh, Shark von Mokum. He lived till a, a ripe old age of 84. And so I suppose the lesson in all of this, the historical lesson in all of this, is that strange things do happen. Now, um, I'm going to have a, an addendum, shall we say. This may sound like complete and utter rubbish. And a lot of history is that way. A lot of things that have happened throughout the ages are absolutely unbelievable. I mean, who could eat a house in seven weeks, seven hours and seven seconds, and live? Well, Shark van, de, van, de, van Mokum did. Sorry, I got the name wrong. Um, but <laughs> I'm slightly amused because I got the name wrong. Anyway, so Shark van Mokum, he ate his house and you can, if you go to the um, right places, you can see it. It's in the record books because that's how I, that's how I got the, these facts or this particular fact. And uh, the medical records, um, eyewitness accounts of people uh, saying that you know they saw him eating by the door. Some people said they saw him chewing on the glass. Some people said they saw him eating the roof. So there's enough evidence to back up this very absurd story. It's there. The evidence is there. And we are fortunate enough to be standing in front of one of the greater historical objects, unsung, but a great, great, great historical object. And this is the house that Shark almost completely ate.